I've always been against the idea of the press conference with the suit. Like, coaches don't wear suits. They wear suits twice, to a wedding and to a funeral. That's it. And it just always looks weird to me, but that makes that quote even more memorable when Dan Campbell put the suit on and said we're going to bite some kneecaps. Oh, and they have been biting kneecaps. They may be biting them without Jamison Williams for a couple of upcoming weeks. It came out during the game last night, courtesy of Eric Woodyard of ESPN, that Williams is facing a two-game suspension under the league's performance-enhancing substances policy. Now, facing it and having it final are two different things. The league announces it when it's final. We're not supposed to know when the player is facing it. There are strict, at least on paper, confidentiality provisions that never get enforced, but it might be that there's still an appeal that's pending, a hearing that needs to be held, a ruling that needs to be issued. If it comes out today, and Tuesday is usually the deadline for doing it because that's when the pay locks in for the week, the practice week gets started the next day. If it's going to be official for this weekend's game against the Titans, we'll hear it today. They've got the Titans this week at the Packers next week. Those are the two games he would miss if that two-game suspension, Devin, becomes official today. Just a, a tough break for whatever this is, and it's one of the things I'm sure you you probably said it a bunch of times too. Is whenever these things come out, I hate that we never we never get the background of it of like what what this is because as soon as you hear PED, I know as a player when I when I heard that I was like, oh wow, somebody was taking something and they were cheating. Like that that's the thought process. But there's so many things on this banned substance list that you cannot take that they don't all lean into like this person gaining an edge. So I wish, and I understand it's, it's, it's private and and all these different things, but I just think when you think about this game and and you think about even a playing field and protecting the shield and the integrity of the game, sometimes it just seems like it would make sense to know exactly like what, what this is. And maybe you don't tell the, the thing that the person took, but just to know like, was this person gaining an edge and what they were taking or was this for something else that happens to be on the long, long, long list of banned substances? Because this guy, Jameson Williams has been off to a good start. They talked about it all off season, how it felt like he took the next step and he's had these big plays for this Lions offense. They use them so many different ways. You see him getting the ball on a run. Then obviously everybody knows what he does when he gets down the field and he's that deep threat. So You know, obviously the Lions have a lot of weapons and Ben Johnson draws up so many unbelievable plays. But to lose this guy and what he brings, um, I think it could be a tough break for them. So we'll see how it works out. I just I just hope we get some clarity on exactly, you know, what this is. I've always been an advocate for transparency when it comes to PED violations, because without it, all we ever hear is I don't know how it happened. I took a supplement that had something in it. Like, there's never anyone who says, you got me. I thought it wouldn't be detected. I thought I could take this thing that would speed my recovery or that would help with my training. And I made a choice. I rolled the dice and it came up snake eyes. Nobody ever says that. It's always somebody put something in my supplement. I have no idea how this happened. It's not always that way. 99.9% of the time it's that way. And because the NFL doesn't release the information affirmatively, we never know. There's one little twist to the rules that allows the NFL to rebut if the player says something that isn't true. But there's a way to dance around it because they can never prove how you ingested it. All they can prove is what it was. And they don't care. That's the problem. They don't care how you ingested it. If it's in your system, you are punished. Strict liability doesn't matter how it got there, doesn't matter whether you meant to do it or not. But what that creates, Devin, is a way for anybody who did cheat to say, I didn't. And the problem is for the guys who actually didn't, they get that same cloud of suspicion as the ones who did because they all said they didn't too. And it, and it changes the way we sometimes look at players. I, I know when you go throughout guys' careers and – you know, the reason you could pop up on the PED list and get the suspension, it could be so many different reasons. But I know as like a fellow player and what you think of a player and it's like, wow, like 
they popped up on the PD list and, and maybe they had a long career or maybe this happens to be a year that they're having a big year, you right away, you think like, well, have they always been taking this or did something come up or is something else going on in their life? So I just think, like you said, some transparency here would make so much sense just to kind of get a better understanding of what a player is going through and what they did uh, and why they ended up, you know, with the suspension. Because I think, I do, I think it changes the way some players are viewed. And sometimes it could be right and, and, and you know, you have a, a reason to view them differently. And then sometimes it's like, hey, you're viewing someone differently in their whole career when you really shouldn't. This is maybe a one-time occurrence or maybe – this wasn't even anything to gain an edge and they just took something. But like you said, when a player says, Hey, I took this and but we don't really, nobody ever really believes that they just kind of move on. The player comes back out of suspension and then it's all over. So I, I do, I think it hurts the player and I think it hurts the way the league is viewed with how this thing is handled a lot of times. Williams was suspended six games in 2023 for a violation of the league's gambling policy that was when there were these weird little lines as to where you could and couldn't use your phone to bet on other sports and he got caught up in that i think it was eventually reduced to four Mm -hmm. games they had some changes they made during the season so this is his second suspension that is coming up uh and and again if it if it's final when it's final it's final today it'll be no james Williams for the titans game which I mean, it's the Titans, all due respect. But the Packers game is the one. That's the showdown that's looming at Lambeau Field because Green Bay looks pretty damn good and the Lions look pretty damn great right now. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.